or excuse me, the ventral view of the arm. So we have um, epitrochlearis, it's this little skinny muscle right here that's overlying the um, ventral view of the arm. Do you see it? Epitrochlearis. And then underneath epitrochlearis, this big muscle here is the lateral head of the triceps brachii. This muscle that's right up above it, right here, this muscle on the arm, can you see it okay? That muscle is the biceps brachii. Okay? So epitrochlearis, lateral head of the triceps brachii, and then the biceps brachii right here that I'm pushing on, the biceps brachii. So then coming down in the front, and this is where it gets really sticky. I'm going to try to do this in a way it looks like my glove might be impeding the, the light. But if you look at the inside of the, the lower portion of the arm here, is that better? Like that? Okay. Um, starting all the way over by the thumb, you can see that you can actually feel there's a bone right here. There's the radius. You can feel it. Lying against that radius are two muscles, and this is the, the first of them. There are two, one on top of the other. And this is extensor carpi radialis longus and brevis. And there's two of them here. This is, bre this is longus and brevis, as you'll see from the other side. And then the radius is right next to it. You can feel it. It's a bone. If you palpate it, it feels hard. And then there's a very, very skinny muscle, a very skinny muscle right next to that bone right here. And you can see it actually inserts into the radius right here. And it's at an angle. And that's pronator teres. That's, okay, pronator teres. And then right next to that is another muscle right here. And this is flexor carpi radialis. That's this muscle right here. So pronator teres is this little skinny one. And if you can actually pull the muscles apart. You can see it's really skinny, but it inserts. You can see that it comes across. It actually goes across the bone and it inserts right here into the radius. And then the next one here is flexor carpi radialis. Flexor carpi radialis. And then there's a big, wide muscle. Do you see it? Big, wide muscle right here. And this big, wide muscle right here is palmaris longus. This is palmaris longus. And then right next to palmaris longus is a really skinny, small muscle. Real skinny and small. And that's flexor carpi ulnaris. Really skinny, really small. Flexor carpi ulnaris. Now you turn them over, and right after that you get extensors. So let's see if I can position this. I wonder if I can increase the magnification. Huh? Okay, so now looking at the top of the arm, just going over, just so you kind of, we'll position you back again. So we have this muscle coming from the front, and this large muscle coming from the front here. It starts in the front, wraps around his latissimus dorsi. And then right next to that, there's a very clear separation here. There's a muscle that goes across the back and actually covers the lower part of the scapula. And this muscle is the spinotrapezius. So this is spinotrapezius here. You can see there's a little flap of it that covers the lower portion of the scapula. So this, all of this coming here, all the way down like this, is spinotrapezius. Then, moving up, we don't have a uh, clavotrapezius uh, here, but moving up, we have another muscle that's sort of sitting on the shoulder. It's a thin muscle, and that's the acromiotrapezius, and I'm touching it right here. Now, if you look on the um, distal aspect of that muscle, there's another little tiny muscle. Do you see where, where I've got this? Okay, that is levator scapuli ventralis. Levator scapuli ventralis. It's a very small muscle, and it's right here on the edge of the acromiotrapezius. So it's levator scapuli ventralis. You see that? Yes. Okay. Now, looking onto the scapula itself, 
At the top here you have the supraspinatus. So this is supraspinatus that I'm touching at the top. There's this, the scapular spine. You can feel it right here. Right down here at the bottom is infraspinatus. So this is all infraspinatus here. And then there is a muscle that goes from the scapula and inserts into the arm, into the humerus. This is going to be teres major. So it's just right below, teres major sits right below the, um, yeah, so it's right below infraspinatus. Now, if you go a little bit farther in, there's another very small muscle in here, and that little tiny muscle is um, teres minor. It's very thin muscle, it's right under here. So again, infraspinatus, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, supraspinatus, teres major, and then this is the acromiotrapezius sitting on the top. Now if you go underneath the acromiotrapezius, so I'm moving the acromiotrapezius and the levator scapuli ventralis out of the way, we have three muscles. There's a little muscle that starts right here. There's a raphe right here. You have three muscles in succession. This is one, this is the second one, and this is the third one. So starting right here, they spell sac. This is the spinodeltoid, right here. The next one, kind of triangular shaped muscle right here, is the acromiodeltoid. And then this muscle sitting right on top here is the clidodeltoid or the clavodeltoid. You can call it either one. It's this muscle right here. And if you're able to move that muscle, if you take a look at that muscle from the side, somebody have gloves on that can kind of hold. This patient is so difficult to work with. But let's see if I can find an angle where you can actually see this. Maybe. You can call it clavodeltoid. I'm just trying to find an angle where you can actually see it. So if you look here and you see this clavodeltoid right here, is it somewhere where you can, can you see what I'm doing or is it? Are you messed up? Yeah. Here's, the, here's that clavodeltoid right here. If you follow that clavodeltoid, there's a raphe right here, and a line above it is basoclavicularis, and going straight up from the clidodeltoid is the clidomastoid. So the clidomastoid is underneath, the basoclavicularis is on top, and it makes an X like this. It forms, actually forms an X. You see? So the top is the basioclavicularis, and underneath coming from the, clyd the clidodeltoid is the clidomastoid, making an X. Do you see that? Yes. Does that make sense? Okay. All right. So going back to the arm now. Good, good job. Good, good grabbing. Good grabbing and holding. Okay. So now we have on the arm again, spinodeltoid here, acromiodeltoid here, clidodeltoid here, spelling sac, and then on the arm itself, we have the long head, excuse me, the lateral head, no, long, 